Hello everybody, it's Jordan the Computer Scientist here, and I'm here to let you know that you're not dumb. You're just learning a hard skill. In college, I've been feeling like a lot of ups and downs with my learning. It's been like good, and then I'll get to a part where I kind of start to struggle on a little bit, and then I just feel like I'm just not cut out for it, just like all together. For some reason, I don't know why that keeps happening. Like when I was in my Java course, for my last class for community college, I was taking it and I was understanding like everything. I was feeling good about myself. I was seeing like, you know, two dimensional arrays for the first time and I was like understanding it and I was actually getting answers right, feeling like the man, right? And then in my systems programming class, we start to go over memory and wow, I was lost. And like, we also went over it in my last class for community college too, computer science too. And I still didn't get it then. So I'm like going over it twice and I just don't understand it. Because I didn't understand memory, I started to feel like, you know, maybe I'm just too stupid for computer science. It's not there. It's not it for me, you know, because everything I was learning before this was all the basics, you know, and I'm starting to get to the advanced stuff and I'm just lost. You're not stupid. Okay. This is a message to myself and to anyone who also thinks that they're not cut out for computer science. You're not you're just learning a difficult skill. There's a lot of people that like, if you talk to them about what you do know in computer science, they'll be lost. And it's just because they're not studying it. If they were studying it, they would understand it. And then you listen to people that talk about what they know about computer science, you're a b below them, like knowledge wise in CS, and you feel lost. Like, wow, there's so much I need to learn. I'm so far behind. Maybe I should just give up. Don't give up. Just keep trying because consistency is key as long as you just keep on building and keep on building you'll get there like if you look at my first videos and everything i was just making you know like simple programs like you know one plus one equals two look it prints two to the console this is sonar also i know how to reassign variables this is cool and then as my videos progress as you can see like in my last video i made an entire gui which i mean like you know it wasn't the best looking gui but it was good enough for me there's people that i watch on youtube they've been coding for like five years and they're like making like really great things for me it's been about a year even though like i've dabbled in it before i've really got consistent like about a year ago so i've made a lot of progress since i started and that's one thing that i was scared about with starting a youtube channel so all i'm saying is if i saw myself when i was younger or like a year ago and i saw what i was doing now i'd be like wow that's that's cool. I didn't know I would I would I would get to that point, and I got there. So in another year from now, hopefully I look at myself and I'm like, wow, I didn't get memory. Now I understand memory, and hopefully I can make a YouTube video on it because I would like to help people understand what I can't understand. I went on Reddit. I typed in I don't understand memory, and some post came up. I found a 100 something page like book on what every C programmer should know about memory. And I found like a little article, well, it wasn't a little article, it was a big article, but it's less than 120 something pages in the book. And it's just like the basic stuff that a programmer should learn about memory. So I'm gonna go over those and I'm gonna know about memory. And if I feel like I can explain it well enough, I'll make a video about it because I just feel like this is something that a lot of people will struggle on or maybe it really is easy and I've just like been kind of overlooking something. I don't know. Like I, I, I understand the basics. I just don't understand. Like, I don't know what I don't understand, but yeah, that's my video. Don't get discouraged when you don't understand something. Just spend more time on it and just, just focus on that one thing that you're learning and, and try to get it. If not down pack, just get a good understanding and just keep building on top of that because that's how you'll get better and you'll start feeling better. But yeah, that's my video. I know I haven't been posting as much as I would like to, I really do want to post more, but you know, school, work, a lot of things are just getting to me and I just don't be having time to post, but I have been coding. I, d I haven't stopped coding and that's where I feel like I haven't failed anyone really, because I feel like if I'm not posting videos and I'm not coding, then I'm really just like kind of decking everything. But like, if I'm not posting, I'm still coding and I'm still active on like my discord. So if you want to join that just to, you know, keep in contact, I guess, or like just if you have any questions with anything and I can help you. 
or someone in the Discord can help you. But thank you for watching my video. I'm going to catch all of you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord. Follow me on Instagram and social media, Twitter, at JordanTheCS. And I'm going to see all of you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Because it's full